in relation to the student-centered learning um, framework, mm -hmm. we've chosen collaboration to be the thing that we focus on this year. A lot of reasons we chose that. I think we've come a long way in the past few years with having a structure in place for collaboration. I wanted to focus on us getting the most out of that collaboration time. Are we truly collaborating as in we have a goal in mind and there's some action that comes out of our time together. And we worked a lot about making a definition of collaboration. What do we think collaboration looks like? So a lot of that first day stuff was to find the definition of what that is. What does that look like? What does it look like in our classrooms with our kids? I've seen some teachers just hit the ground running uh, first day. I had a few classrooms already starting to teach the skills. That's one of the things that came out that day uh, the, with the teachers meeting was, okay, our kids don't know how to collaborate, so what are they supposed to know how to do? We have a big focus on collaboration among staff this year, but also encouraging it with our students. Um, so to begin the year, Ms. Wallace kind of gave us a challenge about what does collaboration look like at the level where you're at. So being in kindergarten, um, we took it way back and one of our biggest um, struggles or encounters that we come across is a lot of our students, even in the upper grades, don't know how to have a conversation. They don't know how to introduce themselves, they don't know how to ask somebody a question, they don't know when to respond to a question. Um, so as a team, the kindergarten team has kind of been looking at what does, what do they need to understand in order to have a conversation. Um, and we started off with introducing ourselves. So we're doing our All About Me unit right now anyways, which is perfect. Um, so we're learning how to introduce ourselves when we come into a conversation. We did one basic get to know me question. What's your favorite color? What season do you like? Who's your favorite movie character? Um, and just getting them talking that way. First of all, I had them investigate um, Ms. McCall and Mr. Simon. We acted as partners first and got them to notice some things that we were doing. So we modeled a strong example the first time. Um, and then we also started modeling some weaker choices about not looking at each other when we're talking or I'm turned around playing while Mr. Simon's talking. Um, and they picked up on a lot of that. And then we did a little activity where we called it musical partners. So they had music playing, they were walking around the room. When the music stopped, they had to find one other person and sit down. And then again, that was their goal to introduce themselves. And then they had one question to respond to. The first time we had talked about as a class, they talked about eyes on each other, um, our knees are pointing to each other, but nobody had said anything about listening to our partner. Um, so we got to add that to our chart and the importance of not only do I have to look at you, but I also got to listen to what you're saying and remember that. So the first week of school, I tried to plan different collaboration activities for my students to engage in. Uh, starting, We started fresh on Monday and worked all the way through Friday. And each day that we collaborated, I tried to make the um, activity more intense to challenge them each day. And then I also tried to come up with different strategies to plan to implement to put them together so that they went working with the same people every day. So after we did the first activity day one together, we came back together for day two and I tried to get them to brainstorm different um, strategies that they used within their small group the day before to be able to work together. So we created our collaboration chart that talks about teamwork, um, communication, using your voice, asking questions, different things like that. And then so I asked them to take their own advice that they've given to create the collaboration chart and use it each day in their different activities. So then come, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, we tried this activity called um, Magical Loop where they had to take their um, index fingers straight out and they had to keep their arms straight out and they had to raise and lower the hula hoop without the hula hoop falling off their fingers or anybody letting go or their fingers coming off the hula hoop. And believe it or not, that day we had a, um, one group specifically who um, had a couple of team members who weren't following the collaboration ways. And so I had to chat with them and they kind of threw each other on the bus and recommended that two students be pulled out. And then once they pulled those two students out of that collaboration activity, then the group was able to work successful. So then it came out an eye opener to not only those two kids, but other kids in my room to see how well it helps when everybody in the group has to follow all our collaboration ideas for that activity to succeed. So then I put those two back in and it was like a whole new demeanor for them. And then that group was successful then with adding those two people back in. 
like the whole first week of school, like having them work together and doing it in more of a fun way of them not noticing that it is um, like I'm looking at how well they can collaborate, but instead like how well do they just work together on this fun task of taking toothpicks and Play-Doh and building a tower as tall as they can. Um, but then like throwing in there some things like, okay, did that work? Or what, if I just give you these materials, what do you think you could do to build the tallest tower? Like having them first just talk to each other right off the bat to see kind of how do they collaborate with each other before I even give them the word collaborate. Um, just having them kind of have fun with it. Um, and then having the time to reflect on did this work, did this not work? And then later on, maybe doing something very similar and they have the experience, but now we have to kind of move on to something different, um, but now come back and maybe work with somebody different and take their ideas that they worked with already and then apply it to whatever the next activity was. Like I said, the Play-Doh and toothpicks, we did it again with marshmallows and spaghetti. So then they had to take very similar um, activity, but then work with somebody new and then take what they have already already done and apply it in a different situation. Well, hopefully the collaboration of them working together and learning these different skills this year will hopefully carry with them to the intermediate so that when they're asked to work collaborative with collaboratively over there, they can recall on some strategies to be successful so it's not like starting over every year and then by the time I guess McCall's make it to us, they're like veterans. I feel like it'll be um, good academically to work together academically and in the classroom and everything but also socially just to have like social skills whenever it comes to making new friends like whenever they leave here from fourth grade and they go to intermediate school and all the schools are intertwined they'll have those social skills but it also help them in the classroom whenever making friends or working with those new friends academically. And our goal is as they travel throughout this year, but even more so as they travel throughout each grade, that partnerships turns into two or three people, that turn into four or five people, that turn into six or seven, until they can collaborate as like a whole entire class. 